Good day, good day. I love how you hey, say good day. Welcome to another Facebook Live. Yes, it's good to be back. Friday morning here. So um, it's good to be doing this at the end of a week that um, has had a few changes, which leads me to the topic that, well, even though I kind of suggested it, surprisingly, you actually gave me the hint about what it needed to be. So being clear. Well, I'm not clear at all anymore. So this is going to be helpful for me too. So you, you just wrote the title and I'm like, yeah, I think I can work with that. Um, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Well, I thought I'd start with why I picked the being clear because I think it's part of what I wanted to, I thought it'd be fun to talk about. So your question back to me was, I'm not clear on the topic. Oh, no, I think I said nothing has clearly. Yeah, there was the word clear. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, well, that's interesting. And so why is it that we have to be so succinct in, you know, like, and I, I know I hear this a lot with clarity. People obviously, you know, will use the word clarity for this same idea. Um, and it's something that it's like, we're always striving to be right. This is the thing. Like this is the the moment. This is the item that we're wanting. This is the topic that we want to do. This is the it's it's been defined. We've got it. And I wonder whether being clear all the time actually is purposeful. Well. I, I, before you go down that path, I think, I think there is value in clarity. I, I, especially when you're trying to move uh, positively in a certain direction. But if you're not clear on what that is, it can be very destabilizing. Not knowing what step to take, where to go. And if I use my own personal current circumstance, I kind of feel like I'm in a place where I don't know what to do next. And that for me is not a comfortable place because if I have a clear vision or idea of what the thing is that I want to accomplish, I then have logical steps that I can take to move me in that direction. And I think I've talked about a little bit of this here with you already and with us here that, um, that I, I recently took a, a job to stabilize my finances and things around here, but I still have a couple of days of the week where I want to be doing my work. The things that light me up, turn me on as far as passion goes, as far as coaching and supporting and helping other people. But I, I, I get the sense that it's changing and evolving, but I don't know what it is that I'm gonna do. So for me, I so want that crystal ball clarity, show me the shine the light so I can follow the path to do the thing to make the thing happen. But I don't feel like I'm there right now. And that for me is, it just kind of turns me in knots a little bit. So I, I when you propose this, I'm like, I know where I fit into this right now because I'm feeling it. And I know I like clarity and I know I like moving in a direction, but I'm not there yet. So I want to hear your take on this and maybe I can reorient myself in my lack of knowing, lack of clarity, and see if I can use that for my advantage. Okay, well, I'll give it my best shot. Um, I, I noticed on that, well, actually it's been happening every day this week. Um, so I tend to have my appointments booked in ahead of time, whether that's for personal appointments or for client appointments. Things are locked in. Um, I work, as you know, a lot of overseas clients, so I have to manage time zones. And so once they're locked in, they're kind of locked in. Mm -hmm. Well, this week, nearly every single appointment has moved. Just you know, one changed from Thursday to Saturday and another one changed from Wednesday to Friday and another one changed by 15 minutes and another one changed by an hour and a half. And I'm like, what, what are we doing here? And so I had a bit of a reaction because what my day had looked like was no longer clear. Mm. 
And um, then when I went, oh, look, just let it go. Just let whatever that needs to play out. Like, it's not like anyone was falling away from me. They just move and stuff. It was just movement. However, the day ahead then cleared in a different way. So what I clearly understood my day to be suddenly changed. And then there were different spaces that opened up that at the beginning of the day I didn't know would be there. And when I got to those new spaces, then there became a really clear reason why that had now opened up. Do you mean like you, you can see the reason why it had to had to play out the way that it did, but you yeah, but you couldn't know it until you got there, and you didn't need to know until you got there. Correct, because it was a phone call that came in, or it was a uh, text message where someone was like, "Oh, this is doing my head in. Do you have five minutes?" Actually, yes, I do. How's that for convenient? And and it was like, okay, so now I know where, why that's opened up. Um, and yet when my clarity around what it is that I had decided on in the day moved, it felt really unsettling. So, so then I had, so I'm kind of adding an extra component in here. You're coming from the when you've not got clarity, it's hard to move into feeling like you know what's coming next and you want that that level of clarity to then go, okay, well, then this is what I'm, I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I kind of had the clarity, then moved into the, let's call it confusion, of why is this all happening? And then, and I was questioning myself, you know, I like all of those little thoughts go on in my head. Oh, is there something that I need to be doing differently? Do I need to look at my energy? What am I, uh, the whole the whole lot goes on. And then I go, oh, I just let it go. And then I made a choice. So I made a choice to do that. I made a choice to just go, well, out of my control, I'll just choose. And I noticed in my uh, gratitude <laughs> every day, be present. Yep, that's the thing. I just have to be present with the moment. And that's my intention that I've been setting without kind of, I mean, obviously I knew I was writing that as my intention, but I didn't, I didn't deliberately go, oh, every day this week, that's going to be my intention. But it was something that was forced on me, to me. I was like, okay, I just have to be present in the moment because apparently I don't know what's happening in the next hour. So I just need to be present with whatever that is. And then when I chose that and didn't worry about what it was supposed to be or what I thought it was going to be, then there was this freedom. And I was able to just exist. And if that meant that I was sitting down and relaxing for a bit, then that was fantastic. I even had, um, I got a bit, I got a bit, got a bit worked up when at eight o'clock at night hubby decided that he didn't want to watch anything else on the tv because he'd been doing too much screen work all day that day and decided oh it's time to turn the tv off and we're going to bed i'm like eight o'clock at night i'm not ready for bed what do you want about because the clarity that like what i had planned out for the night was not now on the agenda and and I got into that confusion around, oh, well, what I wanted to do is now not playing out. In actual fact, for another hour, we set up and just chatted, which we haven't done for a little while. And, and so I was like, we can get so caught up on the expectation of what we decided it was going to be. <laughs> and if we can let that go and realise that what is showing up for us is exactly as it needs to be, mm. then that's actually where the clarity is. That's where the clearness is. I think, I mean, I, I think I, I know, I, I think I know this to a degree, right? It's just, I forget from time to time. 
that it's in the slowing down and relaxing into whatever it is that supports you in getting the new idea to get the new inspiration or whatever that is. Um, and um, I, I think what this job is allowing me to do, even though I haven't felt like I've been able to get into that settled, quiet place, it's allowing me to be calmer through, throughout those other days because you know, bills are being paid and I'm not, the stress of those things isn't stressing me out like it used to. So there's more space for yeah. me to explore, like discover, experiment. I just, I'm not sure I've taken advantage of it as far as what do I do with that time? So part of it is, is me not, uh, not not accepting the slowing down and and to be quiet so that I can have those moments of clarity and inspiration and whatever that may show up. So I think that being clear gets a bit confused with we've got to have it all planned out. Now, you know me well enough. I have everything planned out. Yeah, like, I know seriously. you do. Micro, it's micro plans. Micro plans. They're ridiculous. And then there's scenarios that are in backup for that plan like it's it it is a bit ridiculous but I've um I, I joke and call it structure with flexibility because I've got these ideas of how things are going to play out but there's flexibility in it mm -hmm. and I make the choice to just go okay I let it go I know I'd prefer it that way but now I just let it go and then these magic moments appear and if we can, the being clear, I think, can get caught in everything turning out the way we think it should. When really being clear is actually being open and being expanded and being willing for whatever is in the present moment at that time. I think... There's something to that, the being attached to an outcome or a plan or something that can actually keep us from that experience. Um, I, I, I know I fall into that trap as well, because I feel like if I haven't, you know, planned and planned and planned and planned and planned, that it's all going to fall apart. But by doing that much planning, sometimes you can actually be, you can deviate more because you've practiced, you know what it's, you know, it's all there, you know, you have it inside, you know, you have the ability to deviate. But you have to relax. You have to be okay with things not going exactly the way that you thought they needed to be or needed to go for you to have yeah. a full cool experience. Yeah. And, and like, I was like, well, this will be a great topic because I'm, I mean, we barely do any preparation for any of these conversations that you and I have ever done. Well, why don't um, let people behind the curtain, they, they're they going to not know we don't plan. <laughs> we don't. There's no planning involved really, other than me sending a message a couple of days. Hey, it's your turn. Hey, what's up? What's the story? What's the, what's topic? the topic? And, and then even in the um and people who would watch this would see that there's not even like a an agenda or a real strong rhythm like it's just whatever gets talked about gets talked about there's never there's never a rhythm of oh there's there's this one takeaway you're going to have like this is the takeaway we intend for you to take with you no we just go oh well this has been don't know if we achieved anything out of that conversation other than we shared what went on in our life. And this is this, this um, I thought it was a great example of if you and I aren't always clear about what it is we're going to talk about. And yet every conversation is great. Agreed. But I, and yet we get I, caught up in our life saying we need to be clear about everything. And yet we don't recognize that everything turns out great. It always turns out great. I think you're maybe underselling uh, us a little bit here, though. 
because I think I think there's great commonality in what we, you and I experience, and then whoever decides to watch this, what they pick up and what they are able to learn or glean or use for themselves, or just relate to. Oh, even someone who is supposed to be a coach or a helper or healer or whatever, and they still aren't clear all the time. Wow, well, that's okay. Well, I, I relate to that. I don't always feel clear, and to kind of pick up on a few hints or tips tips or even maybe potential ideas on things that they can try to help them navigate their situation. Yeah. And that's always been our intention. But I, what I like is that we set that intention and then we kind of just let it play out, right? So we don't have too much of a structure to lock it down. No. It allows that flexibility and whatever needs to show up can. So, um, it was a reminder for me the being clear and particularly this week because I had everything just moving around, everything moving around, uh, that I, I don't have to always be clear in what my day ahead is going to be because it works out fine anyway, regardless how much control I think I have. Do you ever give any consideration to that after your day is over? Um, I, I do in my download with hobby, um, where I go, well, cause it, he always, and he always reminds me cause I'll start, I'll start. Well, I thought the day was going to look like he says, you always say that you always, say that. <laughs> um, and, and it's, and so I'm aware that I say that, which means that it's happening more often than I realise. Um, but this week was a little bit more, um, you know, sort of a little more obvious because there were, you know, days being rescheduled rather than just. It was really in your face. It yeah. was really in my face. And yet if somebody asked me whether I, what week, what type of week I've had, I'd say I've had a great week. It's been very full. It's had lots of activity. I've had amazing confirmation. I'm doing a presentation next week and I've had these people sort of come out of the woodwork on Facebook to give me some encouragement on that and, and go, yay, cheer squad for Chris. And it's like, there's all these sorts of gentle confirmations around a whole lot of things. So it's been a great week, regardless of the fact that it didn't go to plan. Mm -hmm. And and maybe that's one of the keys is instead of getting caught up in what's not going to plan, I know, I'm telling, I'm giving myself my own advice here. I know, I'm, I'm waiting to hear it. It's to focus on all the bits that have worked and been and, and that you can recognize as really feel good moments and i think that's because the, i, I don't think, think yeah no no sorry I, my my screen uh shuttered so i thought maybe i had a chance to get a word in go ahead go ahead no no <laughs> Now you sound like my husband here. I, I, yeah, didn't, good on I you. didn't. I didn't mean that in a derogatory sense. Um, but if I've cut you off now, I've cut you off. So uh, what I was thinking though was uh, the benefit of actually doing reflection at night on what went well, right? Uh, to, to really highlight those things that showed up because I know going into a day, what I was struggling with, and you know, uh, yeah, maybe I did figure it out by the end of the day or whatever. But then reflecting back on all the other things that went well or how you managed to do that and um, realizing that you worried about a bunch of stuff that you probably didn't have to just kind of like contextualize your day and then highlight for yourself you know oh yeah it is working out it is you know it is uh it is more often than not a pretty good day i also like the idea of making a choice to accept what's in front of us mm. Um, and making that choice that right now that's exactly how it needs to be and we can make a different choice tomorrow or next week or in three months' time 
but right now this is the choice and we can if we lean into that choice of seeing everything um is as it needs to be and and I want to be careful about that because this isn't about making everything positive this isn't about like going oh well everything that is is all the positive in my world but because it's not not always that but sometimes it's everything as it needs to be and accepting that yeah I mean there's there's always things that we're going to uh, be challenged with that don't necess necessarily feel good in the moment but would that I know will have positive impact going forward it's just what am I learning from that and identifying that when you mentioned the the, the choosing of it I have to make a choice um I, I had this conversation with a friend of mine mm -hmm. last week or two weeks ago and uh she often references and it's a book I don't remember the name of the book but the saying that they use is name it uh claim it choose it change it so so give whatever the thing is a name make a choice about what you want to do about it uh sorry name it claim it so yeah okay yes this is my situation I may not be great but this is where I'm at okay great what do I want to do about it that might be a little different and then do make an action it's going to improve your situation or whatever regardless of whether it's a good bad or ugly thing that's happening in your life just that ownership that you are going to do something about it is enough sometimes or just a yeah, it may be enough I think that gives us the clarity I actually think that's the formula to clarity now I, I now I need to like reference the book somehow but I don't have it with me so oh we can always see well I, I bet you, if you Google it, name it, claim it, choose it, change it, the book would probably pop up. Probably. Yeah. Um, I it, yeah, I think that that's um that's a really good yeah. I think that's 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 a really good thing to remember. I'm going to be writing that one down and uh, using that when I share this recording in the way that I do when I pull out the one minute this is the that's the one minute I'm gonna oh. gonna, gonna grab <laughs> name it claim it choose it change it because that's the um that allows us to acknowledge then choose to do what we're going to do with it and it completely allows being clear I think it's a great formula. So let's use your example for this, right? So everybody and their dog is changing their appointments on you. Yep. It's making you feel a little bit scattered, unsettled. Uh... So the naming it is, oh, my day is nothing like I thought it would be. I'm feeling really out of whack I don't know what I'm going to do next because what I thought I was going to do next I'm not doing so that's the naming it claim it it's up to me to do what I want to do in my day <laughs> what do I choose to do next which is kind of leading into that next one choose it but this is now what I'm doing and it doesn't matter if somebody interrupts that I can go well I'm choosing this now so now you might have to wait because I'm focusing on this thing change it the way that I would change that is there'd be two aspects I'll ch I, I would approach my change in one is is not to overbook my day hmm. which I have mentioned before that I tend to do <laughs> periodically which doesn't allow for as much flexibility as I normally like to have um so that would be one and also recognizing that my reaction is a bit of an overreaction and I've done this before and I've been there before and I pretty much do it well maybe not every day but there are changes almost every day in my world and so therefore I survived yesterday I survived today Don't. 
we're, we're yep. cured. We don't have to worry about anything ever again. All we just have to do is name it, claim it, choose it, change it every time, and everything will be all right. You know I want to turn it on you now. I, I <laughs> Trust me, I knew that. As soon as I asked it, I'm like, oh, damn it, it's coming back. It is coming back. So come on in. All right. Okay, name it. So I am where I am. Um, this is, I have made a choice already for this three days a week to be the job. And I've done a really good job of disconnecting for those other two days plus weekends. So is that part I, of the climate or is that no, still well, I'm, I'm, st I'm still, I'm still, I'm kind of talking myself through it here. So okay. if I was to name that I have created myself a space to explore, experiment um, with that space, whatever that is. Um, claim it. I have, I think I just have to be okay not knowing for now. Which I, I don't know if that sounds like it's a claim or not, but I think I just have to be okay with there being a bit of a void. Um, and maybe um, my choice is to maybe spend some more specific time intentionally um, being quiet, writing, um, and just exploring, maybe with having conversations with people about what could I do? Not, oh. not necessarily choose a direction, just what could I do? Yeah. And then from that, Uh, I, I imagine change will happen. Um, I just have to make some dedicated, put some dedicated time to that where it's dedicated. So I want to, I want to backtrack slightly. What sure. could you choose out of that things that you claimed? Because there are a couple of things that you gave there that you skipped over the, what can you choose? I want a bit more of a deliberate, what can you choose out of that? What did I say? Choose because you said you could, you could con, you could have, you could have some conversations, and you could. Well, I, just I, wanting I, you to I think that's what I think that's what I'm choosing is the exploration. So I don't, okay. I, I don't necessarily need to have a plan there, but to choose to explore, experiment, yep. um, and I, I, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the change it for now, because I think it's still an open story. So. And is that maybe okay? It's, Does maybe that, it's does choosing, that feel okay? Maybe it's choosing not to do anything yet. Like just to stay in the space. That's my change it for now. Stay in it as, a, as opposed to avoiding it and trying to hammer something out or make something happen. It's going to be the not doing that I need to do. Nice. I like it. I like it. Way to go, Ian. Hey. Don't do anything. <laughs> you, mission. you sit down. You relax. You deserve oh. it. And you joke, you joke about that. I and always, yet I, I always go, there's a good thing. I, there, there is lots of good there. I am all about self deprecating humor. So that's why it's there. But I know I heard it too. Like it's there. I know. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, you're talking to, you know, an Aussie. We do that all the time. Um, <laughs> um, so how do you, so now if we revisit the how are you feeling being, when we talk about the being clear, how is that feeling within you now? I think I think using this, it's like taking an ownership of not knowing, essentially, and being okay with not knowing right now. Mm -hmm. I've always received inspiration or guidance or ideas or thoughts that have served me. I've never had, it's never not not come. <laughs> 
It's just when I'm trying, trying hard to make it happen is when it does not happen. I just happen to be in a space that is very different than I have experienced in a long time. And it's uncomfortable because I always want to be going towards that thing. So yeah. being okay with not knowing is where I need to be for now. Because yeah, maybe no. there, in there is the answer. So that give that feels like that's a little bit more clarity in the space you find yourself. There's clarity in being okay with not being clear. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Great. I mean, (laughs) good. Well, let's hope that uh, others benefit from the trials that you and I. (laughs) You are not alone. Yeah. 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 Totally not alone. So, yeah. Um, Thank you for sharing that formula. That's really good. That's, that's going to be. Not mine. I, we're gonna have to give pr- proper credit here somewhere, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's an interesting way to take back your power. Really, it, it 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 is. It's it's got some great complexities to it, and yet it's also simple. Mm. I like it very much. Excellent. Thank you. Well, that cleared everything up then, didn't it? It's, uh, no more Chandler. I can wipe off the glasses. There, we're good to go. I can see. So thank you, Chris. That was awesome. Thank you. As usual, Anne, we'll see you again in a fortnight along with everyone else. We'll do. Um, Take care, everybody. And we'll see what that topic will be. There you are. Which we won't prepare for. No. (laughs) (laughs) Take care, everybody.